Hello Capricorn, welcome to Creators on the Crest. My name is Stephanie and this is your February bonus reading. Please be sure to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node for additional context and texture. These are general readings, so do take only what resonates and leave the rest behind. If you are interested in a personal reading, I will have my contact information in the description below. Also, you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Creators on the Crest. Okay, Capricorn, let's take a look at a special question today. What are you, Capricorn, no longer available for? Okay, so this is an energy you want to overcome. It might be boundary related. It might be something you want to let go of. What are you no longer available for? So I've separated the Illuminated Earth Oracle into two little piles, challenges and how to overcome those challenges. So Cappy, let's take a look at what your challenge is and what you no longer want to put your energy into here. Something you're trying to overcome. And you got anguish, anguish. So something that has left you feeling quite depleted, quite defeated, quite empty inside, giving you that feeling of deep sadness and anguish. That is something that you don't want to show up in anymore. You don't want to be available for that energy. Now, this emotion is natural in life, and we're not saying it isn't here. We're going to address it. We're going to see what energies we can bring in with this anguish to help clear it and to help you move forward. And you got abundance, abundance. So I'm wondering now, now that we get abundance as the counter to the anguish, I'm wondering if this has to do with a bit of sadness or melancholy around maybe not having as good of a work month as you wanted, not making as much money as you wanted, not feeling like maybe things are a little bit tight and you no longer want to be in that sad state of mind because you know that you won't attract in the abundance while you're in that energy. But also we do want to acknowledge it is natural to feel that way at times, especially with what we're dealing with in our current world situation, right? However, how can you bring in more energy of abundance and wealth and your deservingness and worthiness of that, Capricorn? You're a very hard worker, typically. You're very dedicated, you know the grind quite well, but that can even grind on you, you know? So sometimes we have to let go of these things. Let's get some more context here, some more detail. Yeah, yep. Yep, this anguish really, really <laughs> has done a number on you. I don't know if, if it's been some kind of loss. I feel like <clears throat> this could be a loss of someone in the family who was a provider. Um, this could be a divorce situation, a separation. This could be just something where it has affected, you know, the finances. It's affected the abundance channels. You get the five of pentacles, the nine of swords, and the eight of pentacles. Okay, which means you're going to move through this. But I do see a little bit of of a tough journey with this anguish. The Five of Pentacles is a feeling of loss. It's being left out in the cold. It's a feeling of maybe not having enough. Um, and it, it can be quite frustrating at times. Although she's sitting in a despairing kind of state, there is a key here that will open the door. So there is still hope and there's light like shining on the door from the key. The Nine of Swords also representing a bit of a stuck energy in the mind about this. So constantly maybe thinking about, well, how do I fix this? How do I do this? I got to change this. I got to grind more. I have to do this, that, the other. And getting kind of caught up in that. But we have amidst all the birds in the picture, eight of them are black and one is white. One is almost translucent, representing there may be something you're not seeing about the situation. And then you get the eight of pentacles, a much more creative space, a much more abundant feeling space. Eight is the number of bringing in wealth and abundance. 
and a trust there that what you're creating is going to work out for you, Capricorn. So it looks to me like you do have some energies coming in that are leading you into that abundant feeling again. Let's get some additional clarifiers. Right, 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 right. Right, okay. So to clarify the Five of Pentacles, you got the Nine of Wands. You know, anytime you're feeling in that, into that deep state of anguish and sadness and you feel like you're left out and you can't see the key to put it in the door and you can't unlock something within yourself, it tends to have you feeling a bit defensive as well about other people who might be trying to come in and help. And so you might be missing something here. The anguish might be clouding something that you need to see. Just keep that in mind and let it serve as an inspiration for you to allow this emotion to feel your way through it and to overcome it. The Nine of Swords is clarified by the moon. Again, I feel like there's some hidden gifts that you're not seeing here. The moon is very much a card of the shadows. It can be connected to a Cancerian energy. So maybe bringing your intuition back online, doing some intuitive exercises with yourself, doing some sort of meditation to go deeper into your intuition and let some of the intuitive emotions in your body see where that anguish and where those emotions are, where, where are they residing in your body and using some Tai Chi, Qigong, some sort of movement, yoga or something to release tapping, to release those areas within your body. And then that's going to help you come further into this abundance, this eight of pentacles, where you are able to create again and you're feeling the flow. That's clarified by the temperance card, a major arcana energy that has you being able to weather these emotions with more ease and more grace and allowing you to emotionally process while you're also attracting abundance. And that's the key. Everything kind of points back to this key that will unlock this door for you. You are learning how to do both, to do both the emotional healing and not let it completely shut you down but do it while you are creating. Build it into your creation. Share it with your audience. Your audience and the people around you want the authentic you. So your ability to share that with them and to temper it into what you're showing and what you're being with others is really going to have a lovely effect. And it's going to pull you into that feeling of abundance. Okay, Cappy. Whoa, you gave me a challenge here for sure. Let's get the Capricorn Collective, a card from the Wild Mystic Oracle to close out the reading. And this one wants to come out. Yes, and we got, it looks like the cow provide. Yes. This card represents production and provision. Domesticated farm animals have provided for humans for centuries, and whatever your views are on animal agriculture, it is difficult not to associate these extraordinary creatures with our progress, nourishment, and development. Whether it is in ancient Egyptian worship of the sacred bull, the white bull of the Celts, or the cattle of Helios in Greek mythology, cattle have been important to many, many cultures often symbolizing fertility, virility, harvest, and plenty. This card can signal things coming to fruition, prosperity, and reaping benefits. Thank you, Cappy. See, you can get this. You can unlock this abundance formula, and that's what you're working on. And the cow comes in in a sacred manner to show you that not only can you provide through your hard work, but you will be provided for. Okay, Capricorn, I hope you've enjoyed this message. Please like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I will see you next time.